<laughs> Alright y'all, what's good? Welcome back to my YouTube. Today we about to get down on the mullet. Got lots of length right here. Short crop style on top. A little bit brother. You guys can see what's going on. So today we're going to talk about the importance of not cutting too much hair. So typically when we go ahead and see all this hair, we just want to cut, cut, cut. But today I want to actually give you guys a demonstration on how we can lightly layer and texture the hair to completely give it a whole new life. So we talked about our consultation and during that we said we want to keep a lot of the length. Only thing we're going to really cut is the top area a little bit just to reshape it. And then the sides, we're going to go for something a lot more lived in. So typically the problem with thicker hair and curlier hair is it just provides a lot of messiness and volume, which is amazing, but at the same time we have to learn how to tame that. So today what we're gonna do is square layer the top and just kind of trim the ends and kind of make everything sit a lot better on the head. And we're also gonna apply a lot of texture. And then also we talked about keeping the fringe area relatively the same. We wanna keep all that length around the forehead area. You guys kinda see we have a nice length and the sideburns growing in here. We wanna keep this length here because we want that to eventually grow out and have the sideburns sit really nice. So going from that point, we're gonna go ahead and break the haircut down and I'll talk about what we're gonna do section-wise and later. All right guys, so here we have our sections. So we sectioned off the back area. As we get to the mastoid bone here, we also sectioned it off so that we're able to separate these areas here. So we're basically separating into side, back, and top zone. So what we're gonna do is a lot of this length we're gonna leave. All we're really working on is blending the top into the crown area slightly. And we're gonna be doing that by using a lot of over direction. And on the sides, what we'll be doing there is actually blending the hair to the shortest point in the front. And then for the top, we're going to be using everything from the fringe area as a guide into the top. We're actually going to break the top up into a different section. All right, so what we're going to do is split it down the middle. Start from the apex area. I see there, everything at this point begins to curve. We don't want to cut too much of this hair. So we just want to elevate this hair real lightly here. And we're going to be cutting a square line. Okay, we're gonna be cutting a square line. What that's gonna do is it's gonna leave length on the right and the left areas of the fringe. Okay, wherever the recession point is, we're gonna retain that length. And if you see, we see we're doing a square line, it's gonna provide length in these areas. If you guys see how that's falling out. All right. You guys see, now you see that fringe area sitting a lot nicer. So here we go. So if you guys see our guide here, this is our shortest point at the front area, which is pure texture. Okay, and the reason I'm adding texture opposed to a, a clean line is because the look that I'm going for is something a lot more lived in. And this texturizing technique here, what it does, it provides a more chunkier type of texture. And you see this point here that we're using to connect into the back, we're gonna over direct that so it sits a lot longer and was able to connect to this back area. You keep continuing moving to the left and I'll break down what's going on right now. You guys see our guide. And what I'm doing is over directing the hair to the previous section. So what that's gonna do is allow it to build weight as we get to the roundness of the head. You guys see the area there? We're just gonna texturize that. Section one, two went to one, three is going to two now, and four will go to three. And what that'll do is it'll allow it to build weight as we get to the round of the head. same motion. If we're going to go back to our previous section right in the middle and then work our way to the right now. So it's going to be two to one and three to two. So what you can do is you can go ahead and double check that section, make sure it's exactly how you had it. So a good trick for me when you're doing square shapes is making sure that your cutting line is parallel to a wall, a ceiling, or a floor. That'll always ensure that your shape is square. If it's anywhere in between those references, then it's either a round shape or a triangular shape. So it's something good to keep in mind. Horizontally. 
have a nice square shape there. And what you can go ahead and do is go ahead and just touch that up. There's anything that's out of place. Nice square shape there. And like I said, we didn't remove much hair. It's a lot of more texture that we're doing here. If you guys can see, there's a lot more movement to the hair now. See if it's a square line. Indeed it is. All we're gonna do is add some texture there. And now you can see the top sitting a lot nicer. Right, so now what we wanna do is actually work on this internal shape on the parietal ridge here. I have this entire side portion. What I'm gonna do is create flat layers. So these layers, the flat layers are also known as square layers. So what I'm gonna do is, basically the shape that we have now is very bowed out, right? So what we wanna do is bring that shape in. So we're gonna use the shortest point point, You see that short point to longest point? On the ear. So what's gonna happen here is we're gonna go ahead and bring this hair forward. Right, bringing this hair forward is gonna encourage over direction in this area, aka leaving it longer. Okay, so here's our shape. I'm gonna go ahead and over direct that area. I'm still cutting a square line. I'm just over directing it to provide length in those areas. You see this hair here? So when I bring it back, it gets longer as we get to the back. So all this hair here, we're gonna go ahead and over direct. So it has all the shortest points, all the longest points are being over directed. So this is what will sit at this point. So what I wanna do is just go ahead and add texture to everything that's too long internally. So when it lands, it's actually shorter, and it goes a little shorter or longer. Now when you see the shape, it almost looks like there's nothing happening here. It just goes right into long, short to long. Although it's disconnected by a lot, the, the texture that we provided and the leaving enough length here provides a connection by itself. You guys see that short point from the top? And also this technique. So there's my guide, if you guys can see it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and section that away. And now we have the new guide we're working with. Remember, you guys wanna keep tension in these areas. On two. Go ahead and work down to that shortest point. Okay. You guys see that shape sitting a lot nicer now? It's over direct this point to the front, so we allow that length to build as we get to the round of the head. So it's basically giving you a triangular shape here. Everything gets longer towards the back. So we have our initial guide, that's a square layer here. As we get to the round of the head, we over direct so it gets longer, and we have a lot more length here. So I'm gonna elevate this so it's a little bit longer as we get to the bottom here. You guys see my cutting line? If you notice, I'm over directing this hair from the bottom so that it gets longer. And everything, now we have the back and the top. So what I wanna do is create a guide that goes from the top into the back. So I'll show you what that looks like right now. And honestly, your skill set will evolve as much as well when you, I'm sorry, your skill set will evolve when you decide to work with longer hair. It'll show you how to create these sections and a lot of this will actually work a lot smoother. So you see this hair here? All this hair here will be over-directed so that we cut a nice triangular line as we get to the bottom. So I'm gonna start with the top area here. You guys see my short point? This is gonna be disconnected. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna match it because it's gonna be too short. What I'm gonna go do is work on this guy here. You guys see that hair there? I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly texture that. Okay, 
and that's all we will be doing. So once we have that guide here, section one, two to one, three to two, four to three. And the reason I'm getting length as we get to the parietal area here is because I want that length to get longer as we get to this area, or else it's gonna look like a mohawk. And we don't want that. Okay, there's your guide. Perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and cut that in. Remember, you're over directing to protect all that hair at the bottom. Same thing here, over direct. Same thing here, we're gonna go ahead and over direct the hair. And we are pushing into our previous guy. And what the push is gonna do is make sure that it gets longer as it gets to the round of the head. Remember over directing here. You guys see that? The over direction is gonna allow all the length at the bottom to stay the same. You guys see the shape now? It doesn't sit too heavy on either side. So typically what it was before, it was really long here, so all this hair was sitting forward really flat. So now that we give the top some layer, now we kind of see that crown just look like a crown now, right? It's very, very just overall functional. We have the nice length. We kept all his length, but it just sits a lot nicer now with the overall shape. Every time I texture the hair, I work in columns. Column one, two, and three. That way you don't over texture. So we're gonna column one. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and just work in the middle of those guides. same manner that you cut the hair. So if you over directed everything, you wanna make sure you texture in that same manner. Here, like I said, we're just gonna go ahead and break these bigger parts up. Because he wants to keep that length there, so all we're gonna really do here is chalk the comb. <laughs> here right now, we're gonna go ahead and be using the sea salt spray, which will act as a great tool. Allow the hair to have a lot of movement when, I, when he styles it. So like I said, today we're going for a wet style. Nothing too blow dry, it's gonna be just a texture spray. A little small scoop of mason pomade here. That's, and run it through the hair. So now we have our shape here. We have a nice shape. The way I styled it is I started to almost scrunch the hair here to get that shape to sit from short to long. Have a nice square shape on top. And you guys can see the final look here. I'm using these clips to have the hair air dry and it's gonna sit a certain way. Now we have the nice square shape on top. You guys see the final. Alright y'all, appreciate you tapping in. It's the boy Rico. We're out of here.